casing behind production tubing tailpipes is routinely wetted by produced fluids. The tailpipe, or the extension of the tubing below the production packer, creates an unsealed annular volume in which the tailpipe OD and casing ID become product wetted under no-flow conditions. In oil production wells, when production starts and hydrocarbons enter into the well, an initial water fill around the tailpipe will tend to gravity separate downward from the no-flow volume. With no water, or water only as static residual water behind the tailpipe, no metal loss corrosion of the casing is expected. In H2S service, all wetted and potentially wetted metals should be adequately resistant to environmental cracking by sulfide stress cracking and stress corrosion cracking, and should therefore conform to NACE MRO175 ISO 15156. However, for carbon steel casing, metal loss corrosion is generally not a concern in no-flow locations, including casing behind the tailpipe. Whereas because hydrocarbons are not reliably water-free, flow wetted casing requires a conventional corrosion assessment. In gas production wells, the no-flow annulus behind the tailpipe will be gas-filled. This condition corresponds to an oil production well in which a gas phase is present in the liner. Therefore, requirements to prevent corrosion of casing behind tailpipes are the same for both oil and gas production wells. If the tailpipe is perforated, the benefits of no-flow conditions are lost below the perforations. And in summary, in both oil and gas production wells, metal loss corrosion is not normally a concern for carbon steel casing when exposed to produced fluid, under no-flow conditions, behind tubing tailpipes. However, perforations in the tailpipe negate the benefits of no-flow conditions. In H2S service, all potentially product-wetted metals should be resistant to environmental cracking by SSC and SCC, so should conform to NACE MRO175, ISO 15156. CRA produced this video and would like to thank subject matter expert Ed Wade for providing the valuable content.